Hello everyone, today is a very easy fast pattern. I promise in 10 minutes you can make this little cutie. It's really cute, it's super easy and it will make your Halloween special. Actually you don't need it just for Halloween, you can make it as a toy for your friend or uh, your kid. I love to leave the long tail sometimes so that as if it's moving. I used the um, eyes like plastic eyes you can even use the black uh, thread to make two like balls of black and it will be super cute as well you can use any eyes and any yarn the only thing it's better if yarn is um, the hook you're using the yarn must be a bit smaller than recommended hook because for amigurumi it's better not to have two big holes so the toy looks much, much prettier. And actually there is no um, requirement for the yarn type, for the hook type. Whatever you have, you can have this little cutie after this video tutorial. To make things easier for you, I tried to draw a pattern. And I will explain it. Maybe some of you cannot read the scheme. I'm not good at drawing and making the graphs, but I hope I can explain. Meanwhile, we will uh, crochet so it will be easier for you. Don't worry, I will show you each step in a very slow way. So you can start with chain of four and then double crochet, treble actually, treble into this magic ring or I would like to start with the magic green, so just because I prefer magic green, but you can make even just with the chain. So as you can see we must chain three. So one, two, three. Now yarn over two times. And insert the hook into the magic ring. So now you make pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two three times. So you have one and you have to make three. So make another two. Another time yarn over two times, insert into the magic ring, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. And the last time, so magic, uh, yarn over two times, and now uh, we are going to make this chain two and one single crochet. So this cross is one single crochet. So chain two and one single crochet and why I like the magic ring because you can pull it and the hole is really small so uh, what we are going to do now is to start the next row and we will start with chain 3 1 2 three and now is here where you had your first treble so here you have the three trebles one two three and into this very first one you must slip stitch so not into this chain where we started but into the treble you must slip stitch into your first treble. So, slip stitch. And now we are starting the legs. We have in total eight legs, four on one side and four on the other side. So to start the egg leg after you slip stitch, you must chain nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine. And we are going back by making slip stitch. So insert into the second loop chain from the hook and slip stitch. After you slip stitch, you will have eight stitches for the leg. So just slip stitch. Now we are going to start our second leg and we have to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we insert into the second chain after the hook and slip stitch as well. So now we are going to slip stitch where you had the treble from where the first leg arrived. Just slip stitch and chain for the other leg. We have to chain eight. I'm sorry for the noise. It's really hot in this room and hard to close all the windows. I hope you can understand, but I will try next time to lock the whole room. So, and here after you make eight, you don't have to slip stitch, just continue and make nine. nine and slip stitch And now we slip stitch again where we have treble. The first treble. So the most important for this pattern are these three trebles that we make at the beginning. From one you have the leg, from one the head, and from one the other leg. So uh, now we are moving to the second one where we have, we will start the head. So just slip stitch to the second treble, chain one, chain one, it's like this part, it's like half double crochet it will be. So now half double crochet, and is this one, the second one, and now you must chain two. And insert your hook into the second chain and is where you will put your eye on. So now you have to half double crochet this one into the same treble and chain two for the other eye and insert your hook and slip stitch into the second chain so you have two spaces for the eyes that is chain two insert into the second chain and now um, here we had chain one when we started the head then half double crochet chain two insert into the second half double crochet chain to insert into the second and now we will finish for symmetry with chain one and slip stitch into the second treble so you must have something that looks like that 
And now we are starting to work on the legs in the second, third treble. So what you can do is just slip stitch into the third treble. And chain nine, chain eight, chain seven, chain nine, the same way as we did here. So after you crochet the legs on the second uh, side, <laughs> on like the second pair of legs, you can start to uh, make this part. So uh, here I forgot. You must um, one second. So I forgot to finish here. So chain two and slip stitch into the single crochet of the previous row. So just chain two then you can see here single crochet and just slip stitch actually no matter where you slip stitch and then you can chain one and cut the yarn and your spider is ready you can make the eyes as you wish to as i told you i like this type of eyes <laughs> that they look very cute on a little spider but you can even use just the black beads or black thread to make the eyes and make the legs in the direction you want they are very flexible legs for our little spider I hope this pattern was super easy for you and you can make your Halloween even cuter, less creepy with these little spiders. Thanks for watching. Please hit the subscribe, hit the subscribe button and see you again next time. That's how my spider will look at the end. They are really cute and uh, now they are two friends.